Hi, I'm Morgan, and this summer I had the opportunity to work as the 2024 Hordes Dairyman editorial intern. I'm originally from Hillmar, California, which is right in the heart of California's Central Valley, where my family milks Holstein cows on our dairy farm. I attend California Polytechnic State University in San Luis Obispo with major in agricultural communications. I've not only had the opportunity to experience what my writing improvement looks like, but also what living in the Midwest looks like, which has been an incredible experience thus far and taught me more about myself and the dairy industry in general. I applied for this internship because I knew that I had a passion for dairy and I wanted to exert that as an advocate. I knew that by writing for Hordes Dairymen, I not only could connect with a nostalgic part of myself, knowing that my family has received the magazines for generations, but also that I could pos positively contribute to the dairy industry. I've always had a strong passion in both reading and writing, so I knew when the application for Hordes Dairyman came out that it would be a perfect fit for me. So far this summer has only proven that thought true, and I've been absolutely so grateful to learn from all of the talented individuals here at Hordes Dairyman. The application process starts out with a resume, cover letter, and an application. Once submitting that, you wait, and if makes and if you make it past that process, you're able to go in and submit three different writing samples with different prompts that they'll ask from you specifically. Following those prompts, the next stage would be an interview. Hopping onto that interview, they would then give you a call if you were able to secure the internship for the summer. The application process may seem scary at first, but it's always important to remember to stay confident in who you are and root yourself in your values, because once you do that, those will translate to your application and to your internship. Some of the projects that I was able to work on this summer were some farm flashes. I was able to visit some farms and do some farm stories. I was also able to work on a scholarship list and the top 50 cooperatives list that comes out every year. Outside of those responsibilities, I also had the opportunity to do some digging of my own and find some nearby farms or projects to write on for not only the weekly newsletter that Hordes Dairyman puts out, but also uh, for pages of the magazine, like the Young Dairyman portion, where I had the opportunity to outsource some ideas of my own, connect with people, research those opportunities, and then report on them for that sector of the magazine. This summer, I had so many opportunities to travel and get to learn a little bit more about the Midwest and the nation in general. I actually had the opportunity to take a week-long road trip to which I began in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin, drove to Northeast Ohio, then to Southern Virginia, then to even Southern Virginia, then from there I swung down into Tennessee, caught the freeway, and ended up in Central Kentucky. Then I visited a dairy in Northern Kentucky. Then from there, I went to Southwest Ohio, then to Central Illinois, and then eventually ended up back in Fort Atkinson at the end of the week. This experience was absolutely an unforgettable one because coming from California, I had never had the opportunity to venture out into the Midwest, into the South, like I did in that specific trip. Getting to taste the different southern cuisines, I actually really wanted to try alligator tail and I never got the opportunity, which is kind of heartbreaking. But having all of these different experiences definitely opened my eyes to the greater dairy industry. I was able to not only connect with these farmers, but understand their story on a deeper level, which truly made all the difference when I was writing them. Originally, when I applied for the position, my parents thought I was a little crazy. Yes, they had known Hordes Dairyman because we had been getting the magazine, but they were a little bit apprehensive about letting me come out to the Midwest for an entire summer. Um, and I was myself. If you were to ask me way back when, and I think it was last October when I submitted my application, I would have told you that there wouldn't be any chance in the world that I would get the internship, but I was going to apply anyway. Well, when I got the call that I got the internship, I was absolutely floored, and this is honestly an opportunity of a lifetime, so I took it. Coming to the Midwest not only was a little bit of a culture shock, but definitely has been an incredibly uplift uplifting experience. When moving over here for the summer, I didn't have contact to someone who would be a good roommate or even have a vehicle that I could possibly drive over my time here at Hordes Dairyman. 
Not only was the Hordes Dairyman staff incredibly accommodating and helped connect me with people who I could potentially room with, but they also were able to provide me a vehicle throughout my time here during my internship. If you have an interest at all in the dairy industry and writing, I would highly encourage you to apply for the Hordes Dairyman Internship. Not only will you help yourself grow, but you will also learn from so many talented individuals within the dairy industry that strive to see your growth and your progression throughout your time here as a summer intern. Just shoot an application on through. The deadline is October 25th, 2024, and the internship application can be found at hordes.com backslash internship.